Hey, it's Alan Watts RC, and this is a new video of my RPG game. So my project just took a totally new direction, and the change is probably as big as my transition from Flash to HTML5. So what I've been working on for the last week is to make my game multiplayer, and I think I've done a pretty good job so far. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's still in the early multiplayer stage, but it looks pretty neat in my opinion. So let's say that I will log in with my super secure um, Sam username, Sam password. So I will log in, I will appear in both screen. I can move in both screen. For example, right now I'm controlling um, the right screen. So I can move around and the other screen I can also see the player that is moving. I can also log in multiple players. So let's just, um, I don't know, write random things, uh, try to log in. Um, wrong username, wrong password, I will create a new account, then login. So far I can have as many players as I want. Uh, well, obviously there's a maximum, but I think with the technology I'm using, it's really, really fast. So what I'm using for the server is Node.js. Um, I'm also using WebSocket with Socket.io and it's, re it's really, really fast. Um, it took me quite a lot of time to figure this setup out because at first I was trying to do it with an, an Apache server with PHP and using Ajax to update things and it was really slow. Well, way slower than that and the protocol to send information was very long and with socket IO it's very very fast and if there's lag in this video it's because I'm recording and I have too many things open. So let's just create a new account, log in. And there's also a way, for example, if I want to try to log in with Sam, um, I cannot because there's already a player called Sam who's logged in. Uh, create new account and log in. I can also save all the data from the players um, with my SQLs. For example, I can save progression and will, when you log back in, um, it will save your progression so you won't lose anything. Um, I also added multiplayer. I don't know which one is the one to the left. Okay, it's this one. So for example, I can shoot bullet. That's pretty much the only thing I've added except movement. You can shoot bullet and it will damage um, the player that's hit. Um, so for example, I will damage a couple ones. I will open this tab and this one will be level lost life. Um, what I'm going to work on for the next days probably is add all the functionalities I add in my other game, such as inventory, weapon, armor, skills. Well, I haven't really worked on the skills yet, but yeah, inventory, the chat, I need to add the chat and the chat for all the players uh, monsters. But there are many things that needs to be totally remade. For example, the enemy AI will not be the same thing because there are multiple players. Also the chats, if I want to include all the players, it needs to be done in another way. There's the animations. I need also to make things a little bit more efficient because when I only add one player, I had like unlimited power could do tons of stuff but now with uh, multiple players optimization is pretty is really more important than before so i guess that's pretty much it about this video and stay tuned for more info about my game